Anderson. You got number 15, Sam Rattus. You got number 22, Frank Yetna. Also number 25, Jose Roberto Tancho. And they have number 32, Elijah Farr. Their head coach is uh, Jimmy Drew. And now the Hornets are being announced. Number five, Patrick Evans, the St. Louis native. And then you have number 11, Kent Martin, who is from Flint, Michigan. And you got number 12, Seth Sagwa, from the great state of Oklahoma, the city of Tulsa. Number 25, Anthony Bell, from the Golden State of California. Then number 32, Tyler Victor, from the east coast of Brockton, Massachusetts. And their good old head coach, Michael Cook. Once again, you're here at Harrisville State University in the great city of St. Louis, Missouri. Right here at the Hornet's Nest, we have a big crowd, big turnout. Big game. Nothing that deals with conference. Lincoln University is an NCAA Division II school, while here at Seoul State University, of course, is a member of the NAIA. We have the president, the wonderful Dr. Latanya Smith, Dr. Collins Latanya Smith. I'm just butchering up that name all the way, but she knows who she is. She's the great president, Dr. Collins Smith, and her wonderful husband and we have a lot of members from the cabinet and we're getting ready for a tip off. There goes the game and the Hornets start with possession. Almost a turnover right there, but the Hornets are able to recover. Three-pointer shot, miss. Rebound by the Hornets and a slam dunk by Seth Sagwa. Good recovery there for the Hornets. And they take the lead two to nothing. Lincoln. Number 25 just scored with assist for number 15. Just tied up this game. A lot of energy in the building right now. Now, if you're going to ask me for any particular plays or be able to describe it to you all the way, and let me tell you this now, I'm not going to be able to do that. I can tell you when somebody scores, though. Counts as a missed shot. Referee said it wasn't a foul. Three-pointer shot here by Lincoln and miss. Rebound by the Hornets, number 11. Ken Martin. Three-pointer shot by Martin, missed. Rebound by number 22 of Lincoln University. Got a turnover. Ball is going back to the Hornets. That rebound was by number 22, Frank Yetta, before the turnover. Lincoln's having subs right now, number 11, Peyton Williams, and looks like number 10, Tyson Robinson. Lincoln's trying to put a little bit more pressure on our starting guard, Anthony Bell. 
Really working them. Bell is getting loose. Deep shot three. And it was an air ball. Turnover. Now the Hornets are returning back to pressure. 22 is driving up the lane. And we have a foul. Bassett counts. Foul is charged to number 32, Tyler Victor. That's his first foul. Team's first. So the basket is good. Fastest score by number 22, Yetna. Shoots the free throw and is good. Very large crowd here at Harris Stowe. Block shot by number 32. That's Elijah Farr from Kansas City, Missouri. Number 11 has passed it out to number zero, Richardson. Hornets almost caused a turnover there. Number 32, Elijah Farr just shot a three. And we have a timeout by the Hornets. We would like to say special thank you to our financial sponsors, Conley Financial Group. We thank you for being official sponsors of Harris State University Athletics. We have a timeout and we will return shortly. Yeah, very short timeout, so we're back already. Quite sure there's several uh, fans here. Oh, and there goes a turnover by the Hornets. Layup by number zero, DJ Richardson. Lincoln takes a 10 to two lead now. We have a foul by number 11, Peyton Williams. That's his first foul, team's first. Anthony Bell is at the free throw line. He'll be shooting two. Misses the first shot. Coming on the floor for the Hornets is number 35, Eden Smith. He switches out with number 32, Tyler Victor. Second shot by Bell is good. Number four, Daniel Hayes has entered the game for the Hornets and now number 15, Sam Rockness for Lincoln has re-entered the game. Thirty-two for the shot up, miss, reap by the Hornets, number five, Patrick Evans. Hornets are trying to get in the groove, get more points up on the board. Shot by number five, Evans, rebound by number eleven, Peyton Williams. Don't 
Three-pointer shot by number 15, miss. Rebound by number 35, Eden Smith. Number four, Daniel Hayes has the ball. Missed by number 10, oh, number 12, Sagwa. Rebound once again by number 11. Steal by number four. No foul call, but they're saying block shot. Sagwaz went up and had a blocked shot. Got his own rebound. Came back up for the shot again. Was fouled by number zero, Richardson. I believe that's his first foul, and that's the team's second. Shoots the first free throw and makes it. Lincoln has two subs, number 12 and number 25. Uh, now they have a third, number 22. It's coming in, the Hornets. Aubrey Rufus is coming in for the Hornets. From the great city of Charlotte, North Carolina. Shoots the second free throw. Good. The Hornets have cut the lead down to five. Turnover, breakaway. And we have a foul. Foul is on number 10, Tyson Robinson. That's his first foul, team's third. Number 12, South Sagwa will be shooting two. Makes the first free throw. Like I said, we have a full house today. Second free throw is up. Good. Harness are now cut down the lead to three. Slam dunk right there by number 22. Frank. Frank Yetna. A little bit of a breakaway right there for Lincoln. Hornets are passing the ball. Trying to create space. Five seconds left on the shot clock. 35 is up. Miss shot gets his own rebound. Smith goes back up again and misses. Rebound for number 25 of Lincoln University. Number 12 with a three. That shot is good. And it's now a 15-7 lead for Lincoln. And we have a foul, number 12. The Hornets have three subs coming in. Number 11, Martin. Number 32, Victor. And also number 22, Brown. We have a 30 second timeout by the Hornets. And once again, we are here at Harristow State University here in St. Louis, Missouri. Full house, we have the cheerleaders of Harristow State University here. We also have the cheerleaders of Lincoln University here. We have the honeycombs in the house. We have our president in the house along with our husband. If I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, Lincoln University's president is here also. A lot of sororities and fraternities in the house.
Like I said, packed house here at Harris State University of the Hornets Nest. And we have a foul. So foul number 12, I believe that is his second foul. Subbing in for Lincoln is number 32, Far, and then subbing in for the Hornets is number 25, Bill, replacing number four, Hayes. Shot up by number 32, Victor. Missed shot, rebound by Lincoln. Lincoln was just here in St. Louis. They played against SLU across the street just last week. Missed shot by number 25, rebound by the Hornets. Uh, turnover by number 25, knocked away, but Lincoln still recovers. Number 22 gets the ball. So turnover by the Hornets again. Lincoln's getting ready to have a substitution. Three-pointer shot by number 22. It is good. Frank Yekna. He's from Paris, France. Right now, the Hornets are trailing 18 to seven. Turnover again by the Hornets. Recovered by number 32. Elijah Farr. Almost a turnover by the Lincoln Tigers. Post up job, passes out to number two, 22. Another three point shot, miss. Rebound by number 22, Brown. Missed shot. And we have a foul on the Hornets. Foul is on number 25, Anthony Bell. That's his first. Team's second foul. Foul is on. There will be two free throw shots by number 22, Yetna. Shoots the first free throw and misses. Substitutions for Lincoln, number zero, Richardson. And then number five, Evans for the Hornets. He's coming back into the game. With Lincoln being only in Jeff City, quite sure there's a lot of fans here from St. Louis and Kansas City here to, to watch this, uh, this HBCU matchup of the two Missouri schools. That second free throw was made. It's now 19 to seven. Once again, like I mentioned, Lincoln played St. Louis University last week and uh, wasn't a good matchup for them. And another turnover by number 25, Anthony Bell. And the Hornets just cannot keep the ball getting away and allowing Lincoln chances to shoot. And there's a three-pointer by number 15, Rotness. The key for the Hornets right now is to Make sure we don't turn the ball over as much. Lincoln is taking advantage of pretty much every turnover that has happened. And right now that has been a big difference in the game. Missed three-pointer by number 11, Martin. Rebound by the Tigers.
And we have a travel by number 15. Substitution for the Hornets, number 12, Se Sagua, and number 35, Eden Smith, have entered the game. These two HBCUs, both of them with a very prestigious history. Shot by number five, missed. Rebound by number 15 of Lincoln. Turnover by the Tigers. Basket missed by number 35, Eden Smith. But there's a foul by number zero, Richardson. His second foul. And it's the team's sixth foul. Lincoln has a team total of six fouls. First three throws, free throw shot. Basket is good. Subbing in is number 10, Tyson Robertson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if I messed up any of your any of these names, please forgive me. Once again, like I said, uh, first time doing this, having a lot of fun with it. Second free throw shot is good. Score right now is 22 to nine. Lincoln in the lead. Open man, number 22. Going up for the shot, but it was a foul. By number 22. I believe that was on number 22. Correction, that foul was on number 12. That's his first foul, team's third. First free throw shot, missed. Lincoln wanted that to be a fragrant foul. But no luck on that call. It's only Harris Stowe's third team foul. Once again, Lincoln has fouled six times now. That basket was good on that free throw. Hornets are trailing heavily against the Tigers in this first half. Three-pointer shot, missed. Rebound by number 22. Three-pointer shot by number 32, miss. Rebound by number 35, Smith. Three-pointer shot by Ken Martin. To break the knee, Hornets almost forced the turnover. Subbing in is number 12. Subbing in for the Lincoln Tigers is number 12. Turnover, the Hornets recover. Number 12, oh, he goes up, misses. Going up for the layoff, he's charging in. Pastor by number zero. It's number 22, he's foul going up for the layup. Foul is on number 12 of the Hornets. Self Segua. That's his second, team's fourth. Beautiful day out in St. Louis today. 
Weather was very gorgeous. Plays a big role when you get a big crowd when you got good weather. Our good friend Henry the Hornet has just walked in. First free throw was good. Second free throw was good. Lincoln leads with a 13 point lead over the Hornets, 25 to 12. Twelve for the three-point shot, miss, air ball. Hit the backboard, but no rim. Recovered by the Tigers. And almost another turnover by the Tigers, 32 far. And it is a turnover by the Tigers. Hornets recover, but throw it right back to number 32. And puts up two points. Almost turnover again by the Hornets, but they recover. Five left on the shot clock. Sh shot up. Beautiful shot by Patrick Evans. It's only a two-pointer, but beautiful shot. With about less than three seconds on the shot clock. That's one thing Lincoln has been doing is pressuring the offense of the Hornets. They're having to make shots for very little time. Three-pointer shot made hey, e. by Lincoln. E. Cool, e. 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 Oh, e. And we got a couple of things going on here. I believe we have a, a shooting foul followed by a technical foul. And as we get in this, straighten out with the referees and the scorekeeper. Once again, we'd like to say thank you to Conley Financial Group for being our sponsors. And we're trying to get this all straightened out. The shooting foul, I believe, is on the Hornets. And I believe there's a technical foul on Lincoln with number 32 far. So number 12 on the Hornets, Saguar gets the foul, but there was also a double technical foul. Number 12, Seth Saguar gets the foul, so that's his fourth. And then the technical foul is on number 32, Elijah Farr, so he has a foul now. Lincoln has the ball, scores 30 to 14. Three seconds left, travel caught on number 20. There was three seconds left on the shot clock. So turnover on Lincoln. The Hornets have six team fouls. Lincoln has seven team fouls. Number five up for the shot, miss. Rebound by number 10. 
Turnover by Lincoln. Hornets are going down the court. Basket up. Miss. Tip. And missed again. Another good scoring chance for the Hornets, but they're not making those baskets that definitely need to be made. And the Tigers have been taking That's a three-pointer made by number zero, DJ Richardson. And we have a foul. Foul zone number 10, his second. Team's third, that'll be two shots. I'll take it back, will not be two shots. I think it's gonna be a one and one. And we got substitutions number 25 and 15 for Lincoln. The Hornets have number 32. Tyler Victor coming in. First shot up, good. There's a lot of emotions going on on the court with these two, and I mean, understandably why. Two HBCUs in the state of Missouri, four hours, of, less than four hours apart from each other, or two hours apart facing each other in this collegiate basketball game. Turnover by Lincoln. Hornets recover, but then they gave it right back up to Lincoln. Three-pointer shot by number 15, miss. Rebound by the Hornets. Number five, Patrick Evans. Basket up. Foul, we have a shooting foul. Foul is charged to number 12. That's his third foul, team's ninth. There'll be two shots by number five, Evans. Substitution is number 11, Peyton Williams. The Hornets are gonna have a sub, it'll be number 23. Valley Zephyr. Second free throws up, good. 4.49 left in the first half. Almost looked like number 11 almost traveled there, but no call. In the paint, shot by number zero, good for two points. Lincoln leads 35 to 18. With about four minutes and 20 seconds left. Going up is number 25, Anthony Bell. He's fouled by number 11, Peyton Williams. That's Williams second. Team's 10th. Lincoln is, they're doing a lot of fouling, but it has not really hurt them on the scoreboard. Free throw shot right there by Bell. He makes the first one. He has another shot to go. And the second free throw was good, and now we got some technical difficulties. 
in the building. We will take a brief time out as we get ready to find out how to resolve our technical difficulties. And we are back. I believe the, the free throw, second free throw shot counted. Lincoln has a 15 point lead against the Hornets. Basket goes up, blocked shot. And we have a foul on number 11. That's his third foul. That's the team's 11th foul. 11 fouls, but yet Lincoln still has a 15-point lead. Once again, they've been taking huge advantage of the turnovers. And it's going to be very key for the Hornets for the rest of this half, and especially the second half, to limit the turnovers. First free throw was good. Second one is up. Good. Substitution for Lincoln. It'll be number 32 far. Four minutes and four seconds left in the first half. Lincoln leads 35 to 22. Number zero goes up for a three-pointer shot. It's left wide open. It's good. Richardson is having a pretty solid game right now. Number five for the Hornets. Patrick Evans with the layup and two. And we see the crowd doing the wave. Very interesting. Don't see that too often at a basketball game. We have a foul by the Hornets. Number 32, Tyler Victor. That's his second foul, team seven. Number 15 just came out for Lincoln. Still a ball game. We still have a whole nother half to play, and we still got three minutes left in this half. First free throw shot by number zero, Richardson. He's good. Possibly the largest crowd we have had all year, although we had a pretty packed full house during the homecoming game, the first home game of the season. Get up. By Lottie Zephyr. Foul was charged at number 32. Foul on 32, number 23 is up for the free throw shot. And these are the type of points that the Hornets need to make a comeback. That free throw is good. Very crucial going forward. The free throws, the turnovers make a big difference for the Hornets.
Lincoln has the ball and they're swinging it out. They left number 15 open for the three-pointer and that looks good. One thing Lincoln has been doing good is moving the ball around, leaving a man open, causing the Hornets to collapse on defense for open shots for Lincoln to make. And there goes the two-point shot by Valdi. Left him wide open. We're at the two-minute mark in this first half. The Hornets needing a stop real bad right here. Five seconds left on the shot clock. And they left number 32 wide open, misses the three, rebound. By Zephyr. That's a win right there for the Hornets. They want more of that. Turnover by the Hornets. Turnover by the Tigers. Hornets have it. Going down the court. Layup. Good. Bail. The Hornets now trail. It's 43 to 31. We have one minute left in the half. And the Hornets seem like they're gathering some momentum. Fifty three point nine seconds left. Hornets almost forced another turnover. Ball is inbound in. Twenty-five up for the basket and good. That's number twenty-five. Jose Roberto Takuma from Spain. Thirty-three seconds left on the clock. Twenty-three on a shot clock. Might be the last scoring opportunity for the Hornets before this half is over with. Three-pointer up, three-pointer missed. 13 seconds left. Almost turnover. 15 up for the three, he misses. Ball back up by number 32 with the rebound. And that is the end of the first half. Halftime score, 47-31. Lincoln leads. We're going into halftime. We will take a break and we will see you back here for the second half here at Harris State University.
All righty, we are here back for the second half of the game. And And just some key stats to kind of point out there right now. The leading score for for Lincoln in that current moment is number 22, Grant Yetna. And as we start the second half. The Hornets' main goal is to make the easy shots. Shot missed by number 11, Martin. Foul on number 32, Elijah Farr. That's his third. Team's first. Three-point shot by number five of the Hornets. Evans miss rebound by number 32 far. Leading scorer for the Hornets entering the second half was Anthony Bell with seven. Three-pointer shot by Lincoln, rebound by Bell. Five Evans goes up for the shot, miss. Rebound by Lincoln. They were looking for a foul there, didn't get it. Blocked shot by the Hornets, so. Out of bounds, ball would go back to Lincoln. Coming in, scores 47 31, Lincoln leads. 15 up for the three point shot, miss. Rebound, offensive rebound by Lincoln, number 25. Once again, got fans from all over the state of Missouri, Lincoln alums, Hairstow alums, Lincoln students, Hairstow students, all here for this game. Turnover by the Hornets. One thing that they're trying to minimize in this half, is it definitely played a role in the first half. Three-pointer shot by number 15. Sam Rotness. We have a foul on number 22. That's his first. Team second. DJ, go 25. 17.55 on the clock. Number four, Hayes is in for the Hornets. Also number zero, Rufus. Rufus. 25, Bell going up. Pass to number 35, Smith, and scores. Smith is from Wichita, Kansas. Hornets trail 52 to 33. Playing great defense here. There's 11 left on the clock. Shot clock. Oh, and travel by number zero. But it looks like we may have an injury on the floor. Number zero, his right leg went down awkwardly right there in the paint. And as we, as the coaches and the trainers seek attention on them. 
And try to see if he can get up. Once again, big thank you to our sponsors, Conley Financial Group. And it looks like number zero is getting up on his own power. It's good to see the big turnout here in the Hornets' nest. Like I said, we got the honeycombs in the house, cheerleaders for both universities here. We also have the East St. Louis City of Champions here. Hornets have the ball after the turnover. Hornets trying to get on the board. Three-pointer shot by 35. Missed. Had a good look at it. Smith did. Foul is caught on number four. Blocking foul. And Lincoln is, has the ball on their side. Big crowd support for number four of the Hornets, Hayes. Basket up by number 25 of Lincoln University. Harris Stowe's getting ready for some substitutions. 56, 53. 56. Missed shot by the Hornets. Rebound by Lincoln. Three-pointer shot by Lincoln. Basket is good. And they're having discussions about the score. Trying to make sure both sides had a right score. Carolyn, the score is 57-33, Lincoln. And the referees are still working out the score situation. Lincoln believes they have two more points than what the scoreboard says. Game is back on. There's a couple substitutions by the Hornets. Number 23 and number 15 is, are now in the game. Number four, Hayes went up for the shot. Miss, rebound. Number four, Hayes, might be small in size, but plays with a lot of might. That basket is in there for Lincoln. Uh, 
I tell you this, when Hayes scores a bucket in his game, this house will explode. And we have a travel by number 23, turnover. Substitution for the Hornets, number five, Evans is coming in. And for Lincoln, number zero, Richardson is coming in. And now number 11 is coming as a late entry for Lincoln. Here in the first half, we got about 14 minutes and 30 seconds left. A lot of ball moving. That was a slam dunk by number 25. Jose Roberto Tucker. Score is 61-33. Right driver. Missed shot by the Hornets. Rebound by Lincoln. And we have a travel turnover. The Hornets needing to capitalize big time on the turnovers by Lincoln. Definitely need to turn the turnovers into points. Hornets trying to make something happen. Basket is good. And a foul. Foul is on number 11. Basket is made by number 23 of the Hornets. We have one free throw shot. Free throw missed. Score is currently 61. Lincoln, 35. Harris Stowe. Number 11 with the basket in the paint. That is Peyton Williams. We've got quite a few on both teams from St. Louis and Kansas City and Chicago. Three-pointer made by Patrick Evans, St. Louis' very own Patrick Evans. Makes it a 63-38 game for Lincoln. Number 11 with the shot, miss, rebound by the Hornets. Time basket right there by Anthony Bell driving out the lane. He's trying to cause a foul also to get a make it a three point play. Uh, turnover. Hornets with the ball. Two point shot missed. By Bray Rufus. Wide open shot, missed it. He might have thought he had a three. His foot was right on the line. And there goes another basket made by number 25 of Lincoln. Making this now a 25 point lead for the Tigers. Bad 
basket up by number 15, Breon Mosley. The senior. That foul is on number 11. Lincoln has 14 fouls. Yes, 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 yes. I believe that's, that's the fifth foul for number 11. Number 11 has fouled out of the game. Number 15, Mosley with the free throw shot, and that's good. Makes it a 65-43 game now. Hornets are still trailing by a lot, but there's still a lot of time on the clock. 11 minutes. Anything can happen in 11 minutes. Referees possibly just missed the backcourt on Lincoln. It was real close. And there goes a the three-point shot by Lincoln. Missed 32 far, gets the rebound, and missed. But was fouled on the shot. Foul on number 25, Bill. That's his second. Team second. 32 will shoot two. First free throw shot is good. No substitutions at the moment. Until now, now number 21 for Lincoln, Caleb Wright from Phoenix, Arizona. He enters the game. Second free throw is good. You can definitely tell all of the fans are just having a good time amongst one another. Lincoln University and Harris State University. Two HBCUs here in the state of Missouri. Three point shot, miss, rebound. Hornets, Mosley a backup shot, misses, but rebound number 23. Basket is good. Good fight right there in the paint by the Hornets. Lincoln is swinging a basketball around. Open man. Shot clock violation. And it was tipped also by the Hornets. Great defense by the Hornets. Causing a turnover. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Turnover by the Hornets. Block shot, but a foul call. Foul is caught on number 15, Mosby. That's his first. Team's third. First free throw shot is good. Second free throw shot is good. Substitution. Number 25 is subbing in for number 22 now. Number 25 is from Spain, and number 22 is from France. What you want, talk, man. 
23 in the paint with the shot, misses, rebound. By the Tigers. 69-45. 8.50 left in the second half. Thirty-two far kicks it out to zero. Richardson. They leave zero. Richardson open for the three. He misses. And rebound. Lincoln with an offensive rebound. And then Lincoln misses a wide open three. Twenty-five Bell. Makes a turnover to Lincoln, number 10 with the shot. Shot is good, and we have a timeout. Number 12 will be subbing in for Lincoln. We will take a short break as we have a full timeout called by the Lincoln Tigers. And we're back after that timeout. Lincoln leads 71 to 45. 809 left in the second half. Shot by the Hornets, missed, but offensive rebound, but then turned over to the Lincoln Tigers again. Three-pointer shot up by Lincoln, miss, rebound by the Hornets. Basket. We got a foul. Foul on number 21, right, Caleb Wright. Number 35, Smith, is going up for the layup. We get two shots. First shot is good. Substitution for the Hornets, Kid Martin. And then Lincoln is making substitution uh, DJ Richardson. And also number 15, Sam Rotness. Shooting the second free throw. That shot is off. You got it, Mark. You got it, DJ. 71-46, Lincoln. <laughs> 25 with the layup. Two points. Basket made. Tyler Victor for the Hornets. Those are layups that the Hornets need to make more of, and we have a jump ball. The ball will stay with the Lincoln Tigers. Seth Sagwa is coming in. This will be the last home game for the Hornets men's basketball team until next Tuesday, the 21st, when they play Crowley Ridge. Basket made right there by the Lincoln Tigers. Increasing their lead, 75 to 48. 
Crowley Ridge. Well, we got a three-point shot by the Hornets, but missed. If you have not heard, Crowley Ridge, along with Baptist Bible, are the two newest members of the American Midwest Conference. It would not count as a conference game when they play Crowley Ridge. They will officially be a part of the conference in the 24-25 season. Block shot by the Hornets. That was blocked by Seth Sagwar. Three-point shot is up by number five, and it's good, Patrick Evans. And following that three-point shot, we have a full timeout by the Hornets. Thank you, Conley Financial, for being the sponsors of Harrisville State University Athletics. We'll be right back after the short break. All righty, we are back. We are back. 75-51, Lincoln. About 5.45 left on the clock. Turnover, Lincoln. Hornets take the ball. Three-point shot up. Miss, rebound. But we have a foul. Foul is charged to number 20. That his first foul. Team six foul. Lincoln has team foul total of six while the Hornets have three. Three point shot up. Three point shot miss. Another offensive rebound by the Hornets. Ball almost turned over by the game control. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Shot is up by four. But foul going up the lane. Foul is charged to number 22. That's his second foul. Head coach Jimmy Drew asking the referee, how was a foul? Referee clearly told him, I was checking on the hip. Shot was up and good. The crowd really loved that. Hayes, who's from Detroit, Michigan, 5'10", freshman. Shoots the second free throw and is good. 5'10", freshman, giving it all he got. 75-53, that's the score right now. And Hayes. Showing some strong defense. Showing that just because he's a freshman doesn't mean that he's not ready for it. He's really doing well with his defensive skills today. And, and the hard and hustle, that was a missed three-pointer by number 15. Ended up being an offensive rebound for Lincoln. And we have a foul caught on for Hayes. That's his second. Team fourth. Yeah. 
And we have another foul called on Hayes. That's his third. The crowd wasn't in favor of that. Basket made by number 22. Increasing the score to 77-53. And shot up by number five after there was almost a turnover. Oh. Covers. Missed the shot, got his own rebound. Patrick Evans scores there, making it a 77-55 game. Block shot by the Hornets on far. But it's foul. And then we have a technical foul called on the Tigers. The foul is on number 10. Then the technical. Technical was on number 10. So he now has four fouls. It's a total of 18 fouls. And the technical shot will be taken by Ken Martin. First shot up, good. Getting two shots. Martin with the second shot, and that one's good. And we still have Hayes to go up and shoot two from the, the shooting foul. First shot by Hayes is good. Seven in is number zero, and number 12 for Lincoln. Ten and thirty-two both came out. Four minutes even is left on the clock. Second free throw shot is up and good. Score is 77-59 in favor of the Lincoln Tigers. Ball almost turned over. Knocked out by the Hornets. Zero Richland kicks out to number 15. Missed three-point shot. Rebound by 25. Recovered by the Hornets. Three-point shot by number 11. Missed. And we have another foul caught on number four, Hayes. That's his fourth. Subbing in. Replacing Hayes is number 25, Bell. Three thirty-two left on the clock. Number one thing for Lincoln to close out this game is to handle the clock. And we have a shot. And a foul, number 22, Yetna, scores. The foul has been charged to number 12, Chagua. That's his fifth foul, and he has fouled out the game. Subbing in is number 35, Smith to replace him.
I'm going to have to give the referees credit. They have been kind of controlling the emotions from both teams, although there have been a, full, a few technicals called throughout the game. But they have been doing a pretty decent job of controlling the emotions of these two HBCUs going against one another. I don't think they've ever given this uh, official title of a game. I don't know, Battle of the Missouri HBCUs or the Tiger versus Hornet Classic. I, I don't know if we have a name yet, but it has been a fun game to watch. Three point shot up by Evans. Good. At the crossover with it. Beautiful job done by Evans. 80 61. And then we have a foul caught on number five, Evans. That's his first. are having a conversation with the Hornets. And now the referee's having a talk with head coach Jimmy Drew. Regarding the, the incident. Looks like number 12 is hurt. And is not able to shoot the free throw, so the Hornets are allowed to pick a shooter. 21 is gonna shoot and place the number 12. Free throw shot up is good. So 21 right is shooting and place the number 12, who is uh is injured. And it's, seen, it's being seen by the train on the sideline. Second free throw shot is up. And that is good. 82-61 lead for the Tigers. 240 left on the clock. Basket was up by Evans and missed. Lincoln's getting ready to have three substitutions come in. Number five, two, and 20. Three-point shot up by number 15, missed. And ball goes out of bounds, and here come those substitutions. Borlace, Butler. Also number 20, they're all in the game. Number zero, Ruffus is coming in for the Hornets. We're at the two minute mark, 82-61 Lincoln. I do truly believe this is a good test for the Hornets. And there goes a shot by number 23, Zephyr. And a timeout call, short timeout, call by the Hornets. 30 second timeout. Minute 45 is left on the clock. And we truly thank you all for staying with us tonight. We just had a show right there by one of the Lincoln Tigers cheerleaders.
145 left on the clock here in the second half of this game. You would think Lincoln is pretty much going to almost run the clock out as much as possible. With 90 seconds basically left in this game. And we have an offensive foul. Called on number five, Butler, who's from Indianapolis, Indiana. That's his first foul. That is the team's ninth. But the Hornets only have eight. And maybe only is not the good word to say, but the Hornets have not caused as many fouls overall in both games. Three! Horn. They get 82-66. We have less than a minute left in this game now. 82-66. Lincoln leads. Once again, Lincoln is just moving the ball around, trying to kill the clock, but they didn't clear the clock right there by with the turnover, giving the Hornets another chance. And even though the Hornets cannot make a comeback in 35 seconds, they would definitely try to make the most of these last few seconds. Not quite sure. Cook has seen some spotlights and some things for the team to work on them as they get ready for their next game. And a turnover by the Hornets. Layup by number 21. And we have 15 seconds left on the clock. Three points shot up by 11. Put back by number 35. That basket counts, but that does come to the conclusion of our game. The Lincoln Tigers win this game, 84 to 68 against the Hornets. We would like to say thank you all for joining us today. Once again, I'm Larry Young. Be safe, enjoy the rest of your night. And we look forward to seeing you at our next game.